You're looking at the inspiration of a concept, astounding, confounding, wonderful life. In one precious package, trillions upon trillions of living cells. The search for the why and how of human life and health begins here in the complex world of cells. Their infinitely varied composition makes each of us quite unlike anyone else anywhere. The human cell grows, splits, and becomes two generation and regeneration, growth and health. But sometimes something goes wrong. Take a longer look now. See what happens when a virus invades the cells, causing disease. Can it be stopped, controlled? Today there is a new force battling disease. There is a plan, a concept. Ask the National Foundation president, Basil O'Connor, you are about to meet the true explorers of our time. Today, the men and women of medical science are charting the infinite dimensions of another world. It's a sub-microscopic world, which does not reveal its long-held secrets easily or quickly. Centuries ago, only a courageous few could follow the explorer. But now, each of us has the opportunity to share the great adventure. Everyone whose support gives life to your national foundation has a part in it. In expressing the concept in words, I would say, through medical research, professional education, and patient care, your national foundation will become an organized force working in the whole field of health. If that sounds ambitious, it is. But it is consistent with the trend of the time. It is this concept of what must be done in the field of health that guides us as we approach certain initial goals. These goals, fixed by human need, are the conquest of paralytic polio, arthritis, birth defects, virus diseases, and disorders of the central nervous system. For generations, these afflictions have imposed tragedy on the innocent. Your National Foundation proposes to strike hard at this endless chain of suffering. I believe you will choose to go with the explorers in search of long life and abundant health for all. Expensive 20th century equipment for men with new ideas. At the University of Michigan School of Public Health, Dr. W. Wilbur Ackerman uses a small, potent detective to probe the secrets of the cell. A virus is made radioactive, then sent inside the cell to reveal the action and interaction taking place there. The objective? To find out how the virus takes over the cell and why. To find perhaps some clue to defense against virus diseases. From promising outlook to major breakthrough is a long, arduous way. But it's the way for those working with the distinguished epidemiologist, Dr. Thomas Francis. The research chain has many links. At the University of Buffalo, Dr. Ernest Witebski and a new thrust into the unknown. The men on his scientific team are studying antibodies. Usually, we think of antibodies as fighters against infection. But here, they work on the theory that sometimes these body substances war against the body's own tissues. When they perform this treachery, they're known as autoantibodies. Autoantibodies. Remember that name. Backed by your national foundation, the Buffalo Group seeks a possible link between autoantibodies and disease. One man, thinking alone, can cause a revolution. 400 miles away at the Protein Foundation in Massachusetts, basic research receives help from officers of the law. Their blood is studied, analyzed. 
What role do the components of blood play in the cause and development of diseases? How do hormones and protein carriers travel through the bloodstream and affect various body tissues? Gravity takes the blood down into a fractionator on the floor below. This remarkable invention automatically divides the whole blood into clear plasma and red cells. But it is only the plasma the scientists want, and they get it neatly packaged. As for the red cells, they go back to the donors from whom they were borrowed. For Dr. Harry N. Antoniades, plasma is a storehouse of information waiting to be uncovered. Blood proteins, more than 70 different kinds, are an essential, exciting field of study, intriguing the mind and imagination. At the Protein Foundation Laboratory, director Dr. Robert Pinnell, Dr. Antoniades, and the staff share the work. The National Foundation is one of several agencies sharing its support. At Cleveland's Western Reserve School of Medicine, meet a man concerned with medical care, Associate Dean Dr. John Coey. It's all very well to talk of the promising new era of medical research, but I think we must recognize the gap that sometimes exists between the laboratory and the patients. One of the most challenging problems ahead for all of us is the translation of this new knowledge into improved care for the individual patient. The National Foundation, with its extensive professional and public education programs, is one force trying to help meet this problem. One thing we all know, a great deal can be done today to alleviate pain and overcome disability that could not be done even 20 years ago. In addition to new drugs and new surgical procedures, Perhaps one of the greatest advances has been a way of treating the patient as well as the offending disease. By this I mean that we have found medical care is most successful when the skills of the physician are complemented by those of the nurse, physical therapist, occupational therapist, medical social worker, and others as required. Some people call it the team approach, others comprehensive patient care. In essence, it means that if you are crippled by disease, not only will your doctor prescribe medical care, but other members of the team will also help you return to normal, independent living. This approach offers tremendous hope to people who are ill, young and old. It is the approach of your National Foundation's medical care program, dedicated to saving lives and limbs for the future the best care possible for those who are ill. That's part of the National Foundation concept, too. March of Dimes funds provide financial aid to all stricken with polio. In turn, that merciful service stimulates progress toward the most modern, skillful treatment. With the announcement of Salk vaccine, the fight against paralytic polio did not end. Dr. Salk continues to search for ways to increase the effectiveness of the vaccine continues to study how long immunity lasts. From this laboratory, more life-saving work. The children, when they're ill, they beg our attention first. At Children's Hospital in Philadelphia, see why the National Foundation's patient aid program for arthritis begins with greatest concern for the tortured little ones. Rheumatoid arthritis, another name for cruelty. This little boy is just nine. His hands and legs are disabled, deformed. Every week, he must go to the clinic. An arthritis clinic has been called a rendezvous point. Here, the family and a team of doctors and therapists and social workers can meet together for one purpose, to help the patient get well. It's not easy for this little boy or those millions who suffer as he does. For the doctor, childhood arthritis like this is a continuing battle against permanent crippling, a battle to maintain function. The cause and cure of arthritis, unknown. Arthritis is a lifetime disease, remember that. And one thing more, there's great hope and help coming from National Foundation research. Dr. Henry Kunkel and his colleagues 
at Rockefeller Institute are tracking down the rheumatoid factor found in the blood of arthritis patients. Wherever the march of dimes can meet a need, the concept of a healthier future shines through. This girl was born with a birth defect called spina bifida, open spine. Another birth defect, encephalocele, open skull. Birth defect, hydrocephalus, water on the brain. One in every 16 babies is born with a birth defect. Why? No one knows for sure. At St. Louis University, microbiologist Dr. Norman E. Mellican is one of several National Foundation research scientists now focusing mind and eye on some facet of the infinite complexities of genetics. Using the virus as a tool for studying cells, attention is concentrated on a substance both cells and virus have in common, nucleic acid. Nucleic acid has been called the automatic pilot of life. It is the key to heredity. It's involved, and so are proteins, in virus multiplication and attack. Dr. Mellican studies virus invasion of cells. Each spot shows where a single virus destroyed a cell. Another, another, and another. Significant numbers to a man immersed dedicated to medical research. For a look into the future, the Vice President and Physician-in-Chief of Rockefeller Institute, Dr. Frank Horsfall. The amazing record of achievement of scientific research during recent times encourages the view that almost any important objective can be reached, that nothing of deep value is unattainable. Intensive research on basic biological problems by dedicated and gifted investigators is clearly the key to the discovery of new knowledge and to the development of useful means for the control of disease. Through scientific research, new techniques, new materials, and new ideas have developed so extensively during the last few years that large and unexpected advances in knowledge of biology have resulted. As examples, the means by which viruses multiply in infected cells and what this remarkable process does to the cells is more fully understood than ever before. The role of unusual proteins in the blood associated with arthritis is becoming steadily clearer and has already led to new ideas about the causes of this common and disabling ailment. The apparent relation between certain congenital malformations and a specific virus disease, like German measles, has stimulated much productive research on these unfortunate defects. When knowledge of the causes and the mechanisms of disease processes becomes sufficiently complete and sound, it can be expected with confidence that measures to lighten the human burden or actually to control the maladies will be developed. The ultimate goal of research is this that through new knowledge, man can be led to a fuller and richer life. The quest for the secrets of life, a better life, is never ending. This then is the concept of your national foundation, the plan to move forever forward with the greatest scientific explorers. We give to them, and they return the gift many times over. To us, they offer a whole new world. <laughs>